Typically, my workday would revolve around waking up and setting up my laptops for my virtual assistants. I would have three of them start listing on Facebook Marketplace and Facebook Shops, and then when they were done those, they'd move on to listing to other sites like Poshmark Mercari and a number of others. My other VA would process orders, and depending on how many orders came in that past day and overnight, he'd typically process them all day, and if there were a lot, I'd help process them as well. Because if they didn't get done one or even two days after they were placed, shipping times might start to get behind and then everything would suffer. On days where orders were a little bit slower, he'd either finish them and then do product research for Amazon drop shipping, or set up the Amazon products in Seller Central with software if we already had a list of profitable products to draw from. I built out an entire system for each one of these things and hired each person to implement those systems step by step. It was a constant grind day in and day out, even on most weekends. But of of course, the money was great, so I stuck with it. Fast forward to today, where my main Facebook account is now disabled, which was responsible for about $10,000 to $20,000 per month in profit across my marketplace and several shops. And the other accounts that I still have up right now, which is a new marketplace and several new shops are down significantly. I'm still doing anywhere from $100 to $200 on a daily basis, which is profit across all accounts, but obviously that's a far cry from what I used to do with ease. Honestly though, I'm a bit relieved. Facebook dropshipping at that level was literally a stressful full-time job, even though the money was great. And losing those main accounts made me kind of rethink my approach and adapt, which ultimately led me to a more hands-off type of business where I'm more so kind of an overseer. And I can spend a lot more of my time creating videos like this, for example, which I enjoy, mainly because the dropshipping business kind of runs itself with my VAs. So now I'll wake up and I'll just set my computers up for my VAs, just like before, only I've learned to hire directly from online onlinejobs.ph. From there, I'm actually able to hire good VAs for about $2 an hour, which is a massive difference from the $6 to $10 an hour my VAs were all earning before. And that allows me the freedom to test a bunch more things because I'm not handcuffed to needing to get a positive ROI every hour. It's pretty easy to make a few sales a day per VA to at least break even on that. And if you're doing it right, you should be doing a lot better. Now, once the computers are set up, my VAs will begin to list on a number of websites on Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Shop, Bonanza, Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark, Depop, Kitizen, Grailed, Curtsy, OfferUp, and Vinted. And now since we have more flexibility, we just take the volume approach and hit every platform as much as possible each day with some well-researched products sprinkled in there too, and it's working pretty solidly, I would say. We're definitely not doing the same numbers as before when Facebook was the Wild West as far as revenue goes, but profitability across the business as a whole is pretty close to that. Simply because the expenses of paying four VAs $8 an hour total to list, do product research, and process orders is much cheaper than paying three VAs $24 an hour. That's literally a third of the cost, which is a major difference. Now, I also have one VA that processes orders from the previous day as well, and then contacts wholesale suppliers for Amazon drop shipping after that. We shoot to contact just a few suppliers a day because I've learned the hard way that if you contact too many and they respond in a short time frame, we typically can't set all of them up quickly enough, which can be a bad look for the company. I'd prefer a slow, consistent scale, which is exactly what we're doing. From the suppliers that we see have no minimum order quantity and also do order fulfillment, we'll then grab their product catalog since we know they'll drop ship. We'll then run that product catalog through a software called Scan Unlimited, which will compare their prices to Amazon prices so we know which ones are profitable and which ones aren't. Then we'll list the ones that are profitable and make sure that they're set up automatically to track stock and reprice. Wholesale suppliers don't go out of stock as frequently or change price as frequently as retail suppliers either. So for any supplier that we can't automatically monitor the stock of, I'll have that same VA go through about once a week and just manually check those products to see if anything changes. After I set them up, I'll go get a workout in. Now we bought a house where the former owners turned the garage into a gym, which I absolutely love because I don't have to leave to get a workout in anymore and it saves me a lot of time. I'll usually try to list a little bit myself while I work out. Sometimes I'm more productive than others though. After that, I'll move on to product research for Etsy dropshipping. For Etsy, I'll simply find the stores that are already selling well and then send their best designs to my graphic designer. He'll then put his own spin on them and recreate them extremely similarly, just slightly different with one or two things changed. Every few days or so, I'll also send him past YouTube thumbnails to improve. Now we've gone through both this channel and the second channel and redone 
all the thumbnails, so hopefully it improves click-through rate. As far as the e-com side of things go, I've been really focused on Amazon and Etsy lately, mainly because they're a lot more hands-off. Once you set the listings up, they can be managed with software, so I really don't have to spend hours and hours daily on them like I used to with Facebook in order to get results. It's a lot cheaper, both in money spent, because the software is exponentially cheaper than paying VAs and time spent for me personally. And I'm able to profitably pay VAs to manage the other sites as well. So it's a much more efficient and profitable e-com business. And that usually takes me up to dinner time. After dinner, I'll come back, package and label a few Poshmark, offer upper Mercari sales for that day, finish a few other things if need be, and then read a little bit with a glass of wine.